Cave Mother is a two-part optional boss in the fourth floor caverns. If you get too close to her nest, she'll try to attack you. Unless you take the bridge to the right of her nest, but there's only a 50% chance it's there. Before fighting her, you want to make sure to bring one of three things. The Salmon Snake Soul, two red vials or some other way to blind her, or the ability to deal 375 damage in a single round. The torso technically has four attacks, three of which share the same name, One Tooth Bite. The three copies of One Tooth Bite either always sever an arm, always sever a leg, or just deal damage. She also has a one in four chance of tilting her head instead of attacking. If her breasts are intact, then at the ends of turn one and every other turn afterwards, a cave gnome will show up. Using a red vial on her torso to blind her cancels out one tooth bite. From there, you can just alternate between swatting down cave gnomes and attacking her torso until she dies. If you don't have a red vial, you can use a salmon snake soul and just tank the one tooth bites. Or if you have a strong weapon or two party members with decent weapons, you can just kill her torso on the first round. After you kill her the first time, she'll attack you again with less health. She only has 325 HP on her torso this time. She'll try to one-tooth bite you with her head, but now a cave gnome will show up every turn except every fourth turn. So do what you did the first time. Her head's a distinct part this time, so if you have a multi-hit attack like Flock of Crows or Black Orb, you can aim that at her head to kill her. Once she's finally dead, you can collect her soul to get an accessory that boosts your damage by 10%, and collect a bunch of gnome eggs from her corpse. The gnome eggs can help out a lot with the Salmon Snake fight. Let me know down in the comments which enemy you want me to cover next. I'll ignore it, but let me know anyway.